Welcome to the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Architecture Series, which, which is a wonderfully redundantly redundant title, uh, but for good reason. This portion of the series, this is part two uh, of the AWS Certified Solutions Architect, uh, focuses on the architecture design of a world-class enterprise scale, highly available, amazing, I can't think of any more synonyms, AWS solution. So my goal for this introduction is simple. I really want to give you a, a bearing on the roadmap as in you are here and here's where we're going and here's how we're going to get there and then here's how you can get the most from your journey along the way. The reason I can confidently say this introduction will be short is because it's the same slide set as what I use for the foundation series. So I don't need to talk about what the cloud is, how did Amazon get into the cloud, the history and all that. But what I do want to do is take a moment to give you your bearings as to where you're at in the AWS certification uh, series. This is the sequel. We, you right now are in architecting for AWS, so chances are very good that you've already gone through the foundation series. Now, whoa, hang on, hang on. Before you hit the close button, be like, okay, I got to go back and take foundation. Let me let me talk about why might you be able to skip this? Why might you be able to jump straight here? I would say if you have a significant with AWS, you may not need the foundation series. What do I mean by that? I mean, you can confidently look at things and go, okay, I know what an EC2 instance is. No EBS volume is. I know how to take an EBS volume and, and snapshot it into S3. I know what S3 is. I know what how to uh, assign permissions to the people accessing that website. And so you, you, you know what I mean, right? Stop, stop the, you know, I'm like, let me just dive into everything. So uh, you can confidently look at all of the service offering, or can I even say, I know what that is. Maybe I'm not, I haven't used it yet, but I know what it is. I know what it's capable of. You may be it to skip the foundation series right good okay so architecting where this is going to begin is assuming that you have the foundations you know what the services are you're familiar with the interface and we can just start diving straight into the best practices. how do you put these pieces together in the best possible way prerequisites for it now now like i said i pulled this slide straight from the foundation series so foundations you need an it mindset and i will again put a resounding gong on that. I don't know why a gong would uh, symbolize it, but we'll go with it. Um, a, a resounding repeated yes on this because there are so many pieces in AWS that assumes like, okay, you know what a hard drive is, right? You know what, you've been there, you've seen a server, you know some of the advantages of having your own server and all, all those kinds of things. So an IT mindset is essential. But in addition, I'll say the knowledge from the course is necessary to dive into architecting for AWS. You, you have that foundation laid. I also wanted to bring this slide up for the foundation series again because my recommendations have changed for this series. In the foundation series, my keyword was tinker. Go in there, get an AWS account, throw your credit card in, get a free service tier for a year, and just play around. Create some DNS records, spin up an EC2 instance, create an EBS volume. I mean, just talk around and see happens with the tools that you have so you can get exposed to the tools and now I would say by the time you're in AWS architecture the tinkering is over uh, let's now envision a I want you to think about you know why are you here uh, obviously your company is either using AWS or is considering AWS uh, or you just want to know more about AWS because uh, that might get you. regardless of what where you are I need you to think of a project right now that you would like to move into AWS and begin envisioning that throughout this series. Maybe it's something that your company is hosting in their own data center or out of their, their local uh, corporate offices that you're saying this would be a better place in AWS. Maybe, okay, maybe your company's not even doing this. Maybe, maybe you just think of something personal that you have. For instance, I have a blog. Uh, <laughs> I loosely say that it's it's there. Uh, I think it was been about a year since I last posted on it, but it's there, a little WordPress blog that I run out of Bluehost. I, I'm if I if I did, had nothing better, I would say, okay, I'm gonna move that blog into AWS, and I'm gonna engineer that thing in the most amazing way. I want my blog to auto scale, so when I get the massive visitors coming to it because I posted that I ate green beans for dinner last night, and everybody wanted to know that, I'm gonna be able to auto scale and Im implement multiple EC2 instances, and then in the evening when no, nobody's looking at my blog, I can shut the EC2 in the DNS. I mean, so so the, the reason I'm saying this is because as you go through, I mean, this is a series of best practices. And if you don't have something in mind specifically, it's going to be like good advice, 
right? Like your parents, when, when you grow up and they're like, son, you should always look both ways before crossing. You say, okay, thanks, mom. Thanks, mom. How many things th- did your parents tell you that you're like, okay, that was, that was good advice. And I have no recollection of that whatsoever because it didn't apply to something. Uh, I'm, I'm sure it did, but <laughs> well, whatever, you know, it didn't apply to something practically at hand. So by creating a project for yourself, and actually, hand, I just, I just thought of something. At the very end of this series, last nugget, at least as it stands right now, uh, there is a nugget called Migrating Your Applications to the Cloud. I want you to look at that one first. (laughs) No, I even feel wrong recommending it. You can't read the end of the book before the beginning. No, seriously, look at that because that nugget is geared around how do you, I mean, how do you do this? Okay, I've got this big old whatever at my company. How do I, I can't, do I just like forklift this thing up to the cloud and and make it happen? I mean, how do I do that? So that nugget actually goes through, here's how you break it down into its different components, line it up to the uh, pieces of AWS that will be able to uh, make that application work in the best possible way. And by starting there, by starting with that nugget, you'll you'll be it's it's like uh, Stephen Covey, right? Seven habits begin with the end in mind. Know where you're going uh, through the rest of the series, and you see these best practices. You're like, sweet! So I can do this, this, and this, and that'll help this component of my application even more. And I can, you know, so so that way you're already the the advice, if you will, that you get throughout this series uh, into a practical project, which makes it, I mean, it just makes it so much more real. So have a, a yellow pad or blank paper. I always have a little uh, just draw and think. Uh, humans are tactile creatures. It does not help if you are, t- uh, my, uh, let me, let me, it does not help most people if you have a little micro and you're as you go or worse yet that you're just in TiVo mode listening or watching sure that you can you can glean some but the best thing I mean be a tactile creature that you are created to be have that piece of paper have a pen and as interesting things happen it doesn't even matter uh, if it makes sense or not I mean put a little bullet write it down draw a diagram and say okay if I got my server here and you know redundancy I mean be drawing some of the things that I'm talking but like seriously the more senses that you can engage as you go through this uh, less TV like it is, uh, the better your retention and the more successful you're going to be at the end of the day. That is it. I just wanted to give you a quick kickstart into the series and give you the mindset, this project mindset, uh, to help you gain the biggest benefit that you can from this series. This series is, it's a blast. It, it, this this is always my favorite nugget to record from the series because it's all done. This is the last one I do and I can say, you know, I can confidently say this has been a, an amazingly enjoyable series to put together and I know that you're going to gain a ton from it. Well, I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.